welcome to a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to minecraft.net and you're going to go, you're going to start here at the home and you're going to click already bought the game, download it here. Down here you see the multiplayer server uh, download. Just click on this right here and it will download this right here. So I'm going to move that over to my second monitor. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is make a new folder anywhere you want to. I'm just going to do one desktop, so we're going to put um, server uh, tutorial, just kidding, server. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to open up the server and we're going to click and drag in the Minecraft server .183 exe. Alright, you're just going to double click on that. Don't worry about that. Okay, so now you have this. The server should have gone up for a second. So what you want to do is double click on this text document and you're going to put true. All right, check that out. Save. All right, now reopen your Minecraft server. Dot one eight three. All right, so there you go. Your server's up. Once it gets everything loaded, which it looks like it does. Okay. So these are your property style. Um, this is what we will be going into to change some things. So server port 25565, you can change that to any number. It's got to be five digits, I want to say. So I'm going to do 22244. So 22244. Um, save that. All right, so now you're going to want to open CMD, not CAMD, CMD. Open the command prompt. You want to type in IP config, one word, sorry. There you go. All right, and then you're going to look for your IPv4 address, not your IPv4, your IP, yeah, IPv4, right here. It's 10.0.0.6, so you're going to open back up that server properties file, and then for the server ID, you want to do 10.0.0.6. Alright, so we will be port forwarding, we will not be uh, using Hamachi, All right, so we can save that. So now you want to bring Minecraft or your uh, web browser back up, and you want to hit, you want to type in 10.0.0.1. That is my default gateway thing, so um, it might be different for everyone. All right, so then you want to type in admin and password for your login. Or admin password. Okay, so for mine, I have a Netgear, so I'm going to click on advanced, go down to advanced setup. Go to port forwarding and port triggering. All right. So, right here is basically all your port forwarding. So, I actually have something for 22244. So, basically what we're going to do, let's delete this real fast just to show you guys. All right. So, you want to do add custom service. Uh, server name, I'm just going to type in server like that because that's server. Uh, TCP and UDP, all right? So the port is going to be 22244, and the ending port is 22244. So your internal IP address is going to be the computer that you're on right now, so it would be this one. You just apply this, all right? And there you go. So now, just move that over. Um... I will have a clip of someone else joining the server just for proof that it works. But we should be able to start the server. It's going to be a little laggy because I'm using window capture, but uh, find Minecraft. Throw this over here. Alright. Wait for that to boot up. Alright. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, you can see my CPU usage right now. It's not that good. Play. Do it. Downloading. What are you downloading? Was there an update? No, there wasn't. Alright. Let's wait for this. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, once it gets past this, you should only take a few seconds. Yeah, here we go. 
Alright, so now that Minecraft is almost open, um, what we're going to do is when you go into your Minecraft, you're going to click on multiplayer, and you can either make a server thing or you can just direct connect. But what you're going to want to type in, bring this up, direct connect, and ignore that IP, that will be blanked out. Right, so it's just gonna be zero for your own server on your own computer if you're on another computer or not Are you okay their uh, computer? Let's just double check this 10.0.0.6, right? Oh My computer might be a little weird. All right, so I might actually have to type in 10.0.0.6 And if that doesn't work, it's gonna be colon 22244 yeah, my computer's a little weird, but normally you can type in zero. There you go. So, for me, I can't type in zero. I have to type in 22244, and now it's not logging in. Yeah, ever since Microsoft took over Minecraft, yeah, it's going to say that a lot. So, let's get in, maybe. There we go. See if we actually get in this time. I don't think so. Oh, there we go. All right. So, server is up. There you go. Um, yeah, it's a little laggy because I am recording, but that's cool. So now we can disconnect. So, to let your friends join, you're going to want to go back to Google, and you're going to want to type in my IP. All right. So, your IP should be a number like so once this loads. A number like this. Just kidding. I'm not going to be showing that, so. It should be a number. It should not have any weird... Um, letters and stuff in it if you have comcast there is a chance of it doing that so if you have comcast you want to type in speed or internet speed test all right click on this one right here and down here in the corner right there there's your ip so you just want to click on that and it's going to copy it yeah you just click on it and it copies the ip all right, so that should be about it for the server. Um, that took a lot quicker than I thought. So that's how you make a Minecraft server in under 10 minutes. So when you want to stop a server, just type in stop. All right, and the other options you have in here are all your basic options, flight, um, different, your difficulties, your allow nether, force game mode, stuff like that. All right. Um, it's pretty cool. So this is for anything 172 and above. This will work with 172, I believe, because ever since 172, they added the Elua, Elu, Ela, whatever, uh, file that you have to type in false. So I hope this helped you guys out because there are quite a few people that can't do uh, or make a server. Um, just one more thing that I just thought about, uh, you can change your world file with all these, this is like your normal Minecraft world, so you have a specific place, uh, or a specific world you want to use, also you can put a seed in somewhere in here, um, but yeah, so I hope this guy helped, this guide or tutorial helped you guys out, um, this is my first tutorial, so, uh, I think I did a pretty good job, so, uh, remember to hit that like button if you liked the video and it helped you out. Um, if you want to see a video that for problems that may happen, I will make a video. But, um, so, yeah. I will have a clip in there of them actually connecting to this server. And, uh, remember to hit that sub button. That really helps out.